not about the money Those studs was my check her, but I respected her She hit me in the heart A few New York niggas had did her in the park But she was there for me, and I was there for her Pull out a chair for her, turn on the air for her And just cool out, cool out and listen to her Guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. Today we're taking a look at a fragrance that I don't think has gotten the shine that uh, it deserves online. And the scent is called Mahan Leather and the house is Floris of London. Basically, I've told the story how when I started reviewing, I wrote emails to a lot of big niche uh, niche fragrance houses requesting samples. Floris was really one of the few houses that responded and sent me samples of everything, uh, including scents from their private collection at the time. Well, I definitely enjoyed many and found many to be classy and very well done, Mahan Leather was the one that just really spoke to me. Uh, so I put it on my to purchase list, plan to pick it up. And before we talk about the scent, let's talk a little bit about that rich history of Floris. Floris, of course, is a London uh, based house in the UK. They've been in operation since, since uh, sorry, 1730. And uh, even today, this house is run by descendants of the Floris family. So I think that's awesome the fact that they could trace their lineage to the founders. Originally uh, founded by a gentleman named Juan Flores and his wife Elizabeth, they sold shaving and grooming products in London at 89 German Street. And in 1820, they received a royal warrant um, as a smooth pointed comb maker for King George IV. And some of the clientele over time that Flores uh, has had uh, as clients um, include Florence Nightingale, uh, Winston Churchill was a big, uh, Floris was one of his favorite brands, and Marilyn Monroe as well. Today, Floris offers fragrances really in four different collections. You've got a men's collection, a woman's collection, a classic collection, and a private collection. And they still offer some of the old favorites like limes and uh, number 127, but they continue to innovate and make new scents as well. Recently, they did a couple scents. One's called Honey Oud and one's called Leather Oud. They, of course, still continue to make their shaving products, their grooming products, their bath and beauty products. Um, and of course, they do bespoke perfumes for a pretty hefty fee. In 2010, when they celebrated their 280th anniversary, they released a fragrance called 280 in commemoration. Mahan Leather Guys was released in 2010, and this one was inspired by the island of Menorca, and there's a liquor uh, indigenous to that island called Calent, and Calent is made of wine and spices. And so the idea here was, here was to, to make a, a fragrance that was reminiscent of that liqueur and leather. And the notes on Mahan Leather are citruses and jasmine at the top, vetiver, iris, saffron, and leather in the middle amber labdanum musk tonka sandalwood and patchouli on in the base now if you were to grab this one from Flores or one of their retailers um, 100 ml which is the only size that this one comes in as far as i know is going to go for about 160 to 180 dollars i found it on fragrance net for $91 with the coupon code. And when I saw that, the fact that I wanted this one for so long, I jumped on it and I purchased it. Now, um, I also didn't own anything else from Floris. As a collector, I like to have at least a minimum of one fragrance per house, especially in the niche side of things. So I was really anxious to add one from such a historically uh, important perfumer. As far as your presentation goes, box is really basic. Floris Mahan leather, uh, it's sort of a cardboard material it's eau de parfum you have the um, size at the bottom on the back you know just some notes uh, I, I, I mean um, just some information um, the top you have the florist London uh, and then when you open it up you get a little booklet about some other florist uh, fragrances and a little stand if you wanted to to put the bottle um, a little bit like a um, and on the wash box, you know, in the way that you could you could rest the fragrance in there. Uh, same sort of solid construction. The on the wash boxes are probably constructed a little bit better. And on the bottom, again, it's just more information. Your bottle is fairly heavy glass. It just says Floris Mahan Leather Eau de Parfum. On the bottom, you have a sticker and a batch code. The cap has a insignia on it. The cap is pretty heavy, I have to say, very nice. You have this gold atomizer, which works really well. So uh, no complaints from me on the presentation. I think uh, it's gonna look really dignified sitting in any collection. I happen to really be a fan of the bottle. 
As for me, uh, as far as the fragrance goes, if this is a perfume, I think, for people who like the idea of a leather fragrance but are a little scared off by the heavy ones like Nice 10 and Tuscan Leather or the floral ones like uh, Kier Russe by Chanel and Kier Canage by Dior or the animalic dirty ones like Bellamy by Hermes or Pure Distance M um, or Kier by Mona de Oreo. This is way softer and a lot more approachable. And so what you're gonna get with this one is an opening of citrus uh, I think bergamot, maybe a drop of lemon. And then with those, uh, with that citrus, you start to get some really restrained florals. Uh, I would say there's some jasmine here and a little bit of clean white iris. And the iris with the leather is nice. We've seen iris with leather done a few times before in Dior Homme. This is very different than that. It's a very soft tan leather that is accentuated with just a bit of tonka and saffron. And as I said, the leather in this scent is restrained. It has a very soapy feel to it. It's almost like a barbershop leather, very English, very refined. It just sort of sits on the skin nicely. It doesn't jump off and beg to be noticed. It becomes part of your ensemble. Um, and so the way I would describe this to you, the best I can, because it's fairly unique, is that citrus at the top, some nice light florals throughout the life of the perfume, some dry tonka, some leather, and some saffron. This is not a heavy fragrance. It's uh, not a notice me fragrance. It's like wearing a $30,000 white gold Patek Nautilus watch. Great quality, but really understated. Performance is not good on me. Gotta be honest with you guys about that. This one is softer than baby shit. Uh, some people like that, some people don't. For an EDP that retails at $180, I'd like some more uh, performance. Projection is not good, Siage is not good, and for me, this is a six, five, six hour scent at best. Um, I would call it more masculine than not, but either sex can wear this one. Ideally, I think this is a fragrance you wanna wear in the summer or springtime. Gonna be tough to pull off in the fall or winter because of how soft it is, but this is an ideal work or professional fragrance because it's never gonna overstep its bounds. If you're unable to get your hands on this, want something a little different, well, on Fragrantica, the fragrance that this most gets compared to is a fragrance called Alexander by Arquiste. I have not tried that one. It also gets compared to Vetiver by Floris. Um, what this reminds me of a little bit, to be honest with you guys, is um, Tabaron Millicene by Creed. You know, the same way that that's a tobacco scent that's very light and sort of restrained, this is a leather scent that sort of has that same restraint. The leathers that I like best, personally, Tuscan Leather, La Yucawam Om, Cure Canage by Dior, Knees 10, um, of course, I like uh, Pure Distance M. I like my leathers a little bit more in your face, a little bit dirtier as well. If someone were trying to talk you into purchasing this fragrance, I think they would tell you that it's a really refined fragrance. Uh, it's a classically made perfume in an old, like sort of the traditional English style. Um, and it's, it's made with quality materials. I think if someone were trying to talk you out of purchasing this one, they would tell you that for that price is just that price is just too much to give up for the performance issues, uh, and that could be a real deal breaker for some. I'm gonna give Mahan Leather a five and a half out of ten. If this one was a bit more robust, if there was an extreme version of this. I would love it. The soapy leather with the citrus, saffron, and tonka really is just an ingenious combination of notes. It's a style of leather that I think is unbelievably unique. But $180 retail for something this fleeting and light is just a poor buy. Uh, for me, the performance just doesn't fit that price tag. You know, I really liked this one when I sampled it. Um, now, I never sprayed it on my skin because the florist fragrances come in vials. And I guess I thought that when I sprayed this on my skin, maybe it would kick the, the notes up a little bit. Um, and I think if I had used an atomizer, I don't know if I would have bought this. That doesn't mean it's not gonna work for you. I think a lot of people would be looking for a leather perfume like this. I'm just always gonna prefer the more beastly uh, scents in the genre. But uh, definitely wanna get a second from Flora. So if you guys have any recommendations 
Um, I knew they recently did a couple limited edition fragrances. There's a bergamot one that my buddy Ryan, uh, Ryan, formerly Creed Frakes has. Um, so if anyone knows of any other floors perfumes they think I might li might like, please drop me a line because again, um, I like to give houses at least two chances with bottles and uh i do like this one i really do you can see i used a decent amount of it i, I definitely like enjoying wearing it at work uh but i just wish there was a little bit more to it and i'd like to see what else floors can do so drop me a line guys that has been this week's review uh mahan leather by Flores. this is one i've been wanting to do forever um so i'm glad i finally got around to it if you have any questions or comments please feel free to reach out and i'll see you guys next week before videos my name is max and i was there for her pull out a chair for her turn on the f for her and just cool out cool out and listen to her sitting on bone wishing that i could do eventually if it was meant to be then it would be